Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net. Uh, you know the routine. Uh, today we've got a very exciting tutorial. We're going to be creating a cool liquidy wipe, something like this. Amazing. So what we've done is reused our element from our previous tutorial in a completely new way, which of course I invite you guys to do on a daily basis. Uh, take what you've learned here and create something even better. Besides, I don't even know what I'm doing. So let's go and get started. Uh, in a previous Mortal Kombat themed tutorial, we created this uh, energy. And I tweaked it a bit and we're going to reuse it. And let's create a new composition and we'll choose widescreen square pixel and we'll choose OK and we'll take the text tool and we'll type video and uh, we'll duplicate that copilot. Now uh, we do have a very cool basic training tutorial series on the site so if I'm going a little too fast I do apologize but I have a couple of things I have to take care of later. More specifically, this roast beef sandwich I have to eat. Um, so let's just move things along. Here is our title. We'll go and pre-compose that. Bam. And we'll call this title. OK. And you know we're going quick here. OK, I spelled it correctly. That's good. So we'll take our energy and we'll drag it out. And right now, it's just sitting right in the middle. And we're going to keyframe it. Hit P. And we're going to keyframe the position from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. And we'll set the transfer mode to screen. And so it kind of floats across. Now, and let's create another new solid. And we're going to colorize our graphics with this. So we'll choose OK. We'll do Effect, Generate, Ramp. And we'll set it to radial, and we'll do red and teal. And we'll set the transfer mode to color. So there it is. And we'll also add a black solid to the background. OK. Now, we'll go to our colorize layer, and uh, we'll make a few adjustments here. We want to fill in, and we'll add a tint effect to lower the saturation. So bring that down just a bit. Easy enough. So what we're going to simply do is fade our title on. So we'll set a keyframe for the opacity. By the way, hit T, brings that up. And we'll set it from 0 to 100. So it sort of just fades on during this transition. Now, kind of slow down here as we get into uh, some of the more tricky parts. We're going to choose Effect, Distort, Turbulent, Displace. Now it's probably a little off screen, but this is the plugin we want to use. And what it does is allows you to add some kind of wild, liquidy randomness. So we'll set it to Twist, and that way it looks a little bit more like water. And we're going to go ahead and keyframe the evolution, or better yet, we'll add an expression. So Alt, click on the stopwatch, and type time times 500. So that takes the current time and multiplies it by 500. And so if you look here, we're sort of just rotating. Now, what we want to do is keyframe the amount. So we'll unsolo and bring that down, hit U. And what we basically want to do is make it stop uh, you know, evolving after it's done. So we'll turn the amount down to zero. So that way it kind of is wild and it comes to a nice stop, F9. And that should create a nice curve. I just went into the graph editor and made sure that this is nice and smooth. OK. Now, we also are going to add a slight glow to our title. So we'll choose Effect Stylize Glow. And I'll turn that up just a bit. And finally, we might want to add a blur, fast blur. And we'll turn it up, keyframe it, move forward a little bit, 
and we'll turn it down to zero. And that way the blurriness keyframes on and you know our animation blends very nice. So and the last thing I did was I just added a texture image into the background so you can just use you know any kind of texture image stick it in the background and uh, you know that should look pretty cool. We might even center our title so it doesn't look horrible. Now if you go to the old blog at videocopilot.net and do a search for energy and there's a couple of blog posts I made a while back that kind of use some similar techniques and you can download the project file and I did get a few questions about creating this sort of orb like thing and uh, real quick I just kind of show you an interesting way to do that and basically you want to make a solid make it uh, you know like orange and then we just add a ellipse mask and hit uh, the mask and duplicate the mask and then set it to subtract then hit mm and feather it so that creates a nice uh, circle and then we can add an adjustment layer and we'll choose distort bulge and this is kind of a cool way to add um, sort of like a distortion um, as if it was looking through some sort of lens now speaking of lens there's actually one called lens and this one actually creates a more interesting looking effect that has you know more of that realistic tone to it as you know the edges kind of bend a little bit more so you might play around uh, with this. Now, the better way to use this would be to pre-compose your material. Um, you know, for example, I can take all the stuff we did earlier from the colorize down to the background, duplicate it, move it up to the top here, and then pre-compose all of it, except for that adjustment layer. And then take our adjustment layer and copy the lens effect, delete the adjustment layer, and paste it to that precom. And that way the same footage will be in the background and we can sort of, I don't know, this is improv design here, but maybe just fade it off as, you know, this makes obviously no sense at all. So do me a favor and don't copy this. Don't even talk about it. I just wanted to, you know, give you some ideas on how you could create that because, uh, a couple of people were asking me, you know, they're poking me with a stick and trying to get answers. And I hate being poked with sticks. Okay, well, I think that's just about the end of this tutorial. Um, and I can maybe add some other cool stuff. Um, nah, better. Anyway, my name is Andrew Kramer, and uh, this is videocopilot.net. We'll see you next time. What is this? An orb? Come on. You can do better than that. You're better than that. You're better than that. Maybe two orbs. <laughs>